Hey guys, Craziest Ginger here with another Rust electricity tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use switches. Uh, that includes regular switches and all of the logic gate switches and or and exclusive or switches as well as the timer. As you can also use that as a switch or a push button. So we're going to start over on this side with our basic switch. So all of my circuits here are going to have a basic setup. We're going to have a power source, in this case generators. It's going to go to one of either one or two switches or your timer. And then we're going to have a counter here showing the electrical pass through and a light. The light's just going to represent whatever system you have it hooked up to. So your basic switch, you have power going in, but no power going out. If you turn your switch on, then you have power going out. All of your switches or your logic gate switches are going to use one power and counters use one power as well. So that's why you have 99 going in, but only 97 coming out because one is getting used by your switch, one is getting used by your counter. So very easy to wire up. You have an electric input on the bottom and you have an electric output on the top. Your input is going to go to your power source or whatever power you want to pass through your switch and your output is going to go to your circuit or your other logic gates whatever you want to have that going to so on off just two states true false on off uh, the next one i'm going to show you is the and switch so here we have our splitters going to two switches Ignore, you don't really need this extra splitter here. I just did it in case I wanted to make it more complicated. Um, but you could wire this up with only two power outputs. So you have two switches, switch A and switch B. You have your AND switch here. And you can see it has side A, side B. Input A, input B. That's where your switches are going to go into. And you have a power out going to the rest of your circuit. Uh, one sec guys, I'm just going to turn off my chat here so you guys can't see that. So that's not distracting. There you go. Okay, so for the AND switch, if you have both of them off, nothing goes through. If I turn one off, one on, sorry, nothing goes through. If I turn B on by itself, nothing goes through. But if I have A AND B, that's why it's called an AND switch you have power going through. Again, I have uh, I have 100 power going into both of my switches. Each switch uses up one. So I actually have 50 to each switch because it's split evenly. And then I have 49 coming out from here, 48 coming out of the switch, one being used as the timer. The way the the way the uh, AND switch works is it takes the highest of your two inputs and that's how much power it goes out. So if instead of the switch here, input A, if instead I just put it straight out of a power source, I'll still have 31 because this one here is using up 31. If I remove here, that should go back to 48 because it's not being spread evenly. And if instead of the switch output, I have input B going to another power source. And I remove this switch. Oop. See, 48, because that's what's coming out of the splitter. But if I have it coming straight out of a generator, going to output B here, it'll give me 99. You see that? Okay, let me just rewire this for you guys. show you one more time. I'm saying more time on this than I would the others. So turn them both off. One on doesn't work. Both on it goes through. Again it takes the greatest of your two power sources going in. Each of these is receiving 49. It's putting 48 out because one is being used by the switch. So you have 48 going into the switch. That's your highest number. If you had 99 going in here this number here would be 99. Um, 48 going out, the counter uses one, 47. So let's turn that off. And now we have the OR switch. Again, you have side A, 
and side B, indicated by the red lights here. If I turn on side A, if I turn on one of the sides... Oh, sorry. I disconnected this. In. Okay. If I turn on side A here, you see side A turns on green and our circuit turns on. If I turn back off, you see the red light comes back on. It doesn't have any power going in. If I turn on side B, look at that, the light still turns on. So it's called an OR switch because you can have A or B turned on. If for this one I turn A and B on, your light still stays on. So it acts like the AND switch but it also works if you only have one input on. Now, pay attention to the next one. These two are very similar, but they have very different uses. This is the OR switch. This is the exclusive OR, or XOR switch. So for the XOR switch, if we have input A, you have exclusive A, exclusive B. If you have only A on, it works. If you have only B on, it works. If you have A and B on, no power goes through. So the difference between these two is that this one works when you have both A and B. This one does not work when you have both A and B. It's one or the other, but not both. So it has to be exclusively A or exclusively B. That is why we call it the exclusive OR switch or logic gate. Okay, none, nothing, both nothing one it turns on now finally I've included this with switches because it acts very similar to a switch we have a timer so the way you wire up a timer you have your power in from the bottom just like any normal switch so you can see here this red light indicates if it's receiving power you have your output which goes to a light and now you have here toggle on this is what activates the timer it is not the power in for the other switches it's the power in and that's how it determines if the power is going out for the timer it's the toggle on that is important so we have different settings for the timer or how long you want it to turn on for we are going to set it for three seconds so it's easy to see so when it's powered on, you can just press E on the timer and it'll go for three seconds. If you want to use this like a push button, a switch that turns on and off right away, you can just, oh, sorry, you can just tap it on, off, on, off. Let's put that back to three seconds. If you press this toggle on on the right, watch what happens. It'll turn on at the end of the duration it switches back off until it receives a new power input. So off, back on, your timer will re-toggle. Now, if you flip it a bunch of times while it is going, it will still only activate once. So it has to receive that new power while it is in the standby state with the red light here. If you wanna just completely deactivate your timer, like if you have it activated with a laser you can just turn off your power in and now this will not do anything and again with the timers just like the other switches it'll output whatever you have coming into the electric input so if you only have two coming into the timer here let's actually demonstrate that for you guys we want an electric branch here the power in branch out two coming out so watch what happens when I turn on it still outputs 46 because you have 48 coming through the switch and the timer uses two turn off turn on sorry the timer uses one the counter uses one right if however I set the branch to one it will still work because all you need to toggle it is one power Oh, wait, did I not? Sorry, guys, I think two is the minimum for a branch. Um, so you do need two to toggle it on. If you have one, I believe it won't turn on at all. Actually, we can easily test that. If we put a counter here. Yeah, so if we show pass-through, we only have one pass-through. 
Oh no, it still works with one. Yeah, you only need one to turn on the switch. But if on the bottom here, let's show you guys another branch. We can actually completely remove the switch now because I've showed you guys how to use it. If we branch out 23 and we turn on our timer, you will have uh, 21 coming through the counter because the switch uses one, 22, the counter uses one, 21. See? So that's it for the timer. The exclusive or, we'll do a quick review. Exclusively B or exclusively A, not neither, not both. Only one at a time. The OR switch can be A and B. It can be only A. It can be only B, but it cannot be neither. The AND switch needs to be both A and B. It cannot be only B. It cannot be only A. And your basic switch on, off, on, off. Remember when you're wiring your circuits, the switch will use up one power. So even if you have 99 going in, you will only have 98 coming out. Keep that in mind, it can cause a lot of wiring issues. But that's it for switches and logic gates, as well as your timer, which I've included in the switch. Uh, that's it for our basic tutorial. I will have more videos coming out on the other components as well as more advanced tutorials for how to use logic gates like the OR switch, the AND switch, and the exclusive OR switch. Uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.